Welcome to 3D Learning Lab, the place where imagination meets education. Have you ever wondered what makes machines run so smoothly? Bearings. These tiny yet powerful components are the backbone of every moving machine. Today, we're diving deep into their fascinating world with a mind-blowing 3D animation. Let's make learning exciting together. Stick around because you don't want to miss this. Bearings are mechanical machine parts that support shafts and other rotating components. They minimize friction to ensure a smooth rotational motion. The part of the shaft inserted into the bearing is called the pivot. In the case of sliding bearings, the shaft and the bearing slide along the contact surface or, ideally, on the thin layer of oil or grease between them. The advantage of this type of bearing is its high load bearing capacity. Moreover, Sliding bearings can easily be manufactured and repaired using simple tools and machines. They are commonly used in trains and locomotives. Rolling bearing types can be distinguished according to the rolling elements they contain. Ball bearings contain ball-like rolling elements and are the most commonly used bearing type. They can be found, for example, in bicycles, washing machines, and agricultural machinery. They are usually used with small or medium loads and shafts with a medium or high rotational speed. Roller bearings are usually used with medium or large loads and shafts with low and medium rotational speeds. Cylindrical roller bearings can be found, for example, in electric motors and the gearbox of vehicles, where the radial load is large. Needle roller bearings, which have a compact structure, are used in bicycle cranks to ensure the smooth movement of the pedals. This type of bearing is included in the steering column of cars and motorbikes as well. Tapered roller bearings are found in vehicle hubs, where they must withstand both radial and axial loads. They are also used in the rollers of industrial conveyor belts. Spherical roller bearings are used in the generators of wind turbines and agricultural machinery, such as tractors. In both cases, spherical roller bearings are required due to the large radial load and its alternating direction. Based on the direction of the load, bearings can be categorized into three main groups. Radial bearings, the load, that is, the force exerted on the bearing, is perpendicular to the shaft. This bearing type is mainly used when the load is exerted from the side, radial direction. For example, deep groove ball bearings and cylindrical roller bearings belong in this category. Thrust bearings. The load is parallel to the shaft. This bearing type is used when the force is applied along the shaft. For example, thrust ball bearings and thrust roller bearings belong in this group. Combined bearings. This type of bearing can handle both radial and axial loads. For example, angular contact ball bearings and tapered roller bearings can be used in the case of combined loads. Thank you for exploring the magic of bearings with us on 3D Learning Lab. If you loved this video, don't stop here. Like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Your support helps us create more educational content. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an update. Follow us on our social media for behind the scenes and more exciting content. Together, let's keep learning in 3D.